Hello, Wellness Warriors. I hope you are having a wonderful day. And uh, I just want to thank you all for watching. We're 172 people in the community now, which I think it's really awesome. Um, and it just, it fills my heart with joy to know that there are people who are just trying to have a journey full of healing and that they're trying to live their best life. Um, not a life that feels good. I mean, not a life that looks good, but a life that feels good. Um, so I'm just excited about that. And, uh, and, and I, and, you know, honestly, that has been in my heart, a life that feels good, not a life that looks good. And, uh, gosh, you know, I think we're in this generation where we think that our lives need to look a certain way, which I, you know, let's be honest. I feel like that's every generation, but now with Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, it's like there's this pressure to to look a certain way for people in order for us to portray this this life, you know? And, and so people focus a lot on a life that looks good as opposed to a life that feels good. And, and there is a difference. And so, whew, it's hot, y'all, it's hot. Um, we just walked a mile and we still have another like two. Um, and so, so there is a difference between a life that feels good and a life that looks good. And that is different for everybody. And only you decide which one it is that it, it, it fits you. So whether it is maybe that you're at a job that you fell in love with the title, but not exactly with the job, um, the profession. Sometimes a lot of people are just in love with like, saying that they're a lawyer, you know, like, oh, I'm a lawyer, uh, but they hate their job. Or, or even therapists, you know, like I know therapists who are, they they love the title of being a therapist, but that doesn't mean that they love the job itself. So that is the difference between a life that looks good and feels good. Um, sometimes, you know, people, this is another example. And I just want to make this clear so people understand it. A lot of people do very unhealthy things to look a certain way. So they take diet pills. They uh, engage in like restricting. They do not eat. They find themselves like literally surviving on diet coke and uh, gum. And we as a society value thinness. We don't really value health. So let me make that clear. We value thinness because I know people who are healthy and they, they don't like fit the like thin ideal, right? And they get shit because of their weight. So let me make that clear. And especially as an eating disorder therapist, I see this a lot. We value people being thin, not being healthy. And there are people who are thin and are not healthy. And so they're surviving on diet coke and gum. And you don't know what they're doing, but you see them and you go, oh, wow, you've lost so much weight. Good job. Keep doing what you're doing. But you don't know what they're doing. And so you don't really care about their health. You care about them looking a certain way. And so that is what I mean when I say the importance of having a life that feels good instead of what looks good. Because you don't have to be a size zero to be healthy. Hell, you could be a size 16 and be healthy. And you, you know, exercise every day. You go to the park. You engage in yoga. You do Zumba you you know you put um in your body this balanced diet and uh you don't allow people to mistreat you you have good boundaries you go to therapy and you're not a size single digit so and it is up to you to choose what your value is in and i feel like i for the longest time when i was younger i wanted a life that looked good i really did because then I, one of my languages of appreciation or love languages is being praised and being like, oh, you're doing such a good job. Look, you know, like being acknowledged. And so that would feel so good. So of course I wanted to look the part, be the part, because then I would have that gratification, right? From other people. And, and then eventually I learned that I was living a life that looked good, but it didn't necessarily feel good. So I had to change 
this as, as I was going through therapy, I learned this. Uh, and as I read more books and as I became more in tune with myself and I realized I don't want a life that looks good for other people because I'm going to die one day and no one's going to be in that coffin, you know, or I want to be cremated and then spread to the sea. So no one's going to be cremated for me and spread in the sea. Like that's just going to be me. So why am I giving the power to other people sometimes who were in the cheap seats of my life to make decisions just so I because I wanted my life to look a certain way not really feel and so then that's when the true change began and that's when my boundaries were put up and before when I wanted a life that looked good instead of feeling good when people did certain things they were just red flags when my philosophy change people when do they do certain things they're not red flags they're just deal breakers like i do not deal with that because again i want a life that feels good not looks good and sometimes that means you have to make noise especially as a brown woman brown black woman uh as a minority any minority like making noises and you being honest and true with your value uh i don't know how many friends i have lost on Facebook so friends and real life because I've been honest about where I stand in my social justice um just philosophies values morals in in my in my views it, because I am honest and my mom sometimes tells me she's like she's like oh my gosh she's like I, you know like I can't believe you did that right um and I'm and, or how honest you were about this and you're gonna get shot you have to think of your kids but I'm like this this is important for me. These are my values and they make me go to bed feeling peaceful and I can sleep. Or just the other day, I just came back from the beach and um, it was a beautiful, beautiful, just amazing time with my family and, and it felt good. And I wore the suit, like I wore a two piece that I felt comfortable with and I took pictures on it and I felt beautiful. And there were moments in my life where I was a size zero or two and I would have never worn that suit. So I put a picture of me on Facebook and I put, she wore the suit, the end, because that took a lot, but it, it felt good. And I wanted to wear that suit. And so is a life that feels good as opposed to what looks good. Then we're also at a restaurant I'm, and I'm currently breastfeeding. I breastfed my child for two and a half years. And I'm breastfeeding my second son. And, uh, you know, I was breastfeeding and, and my mom was like, I get embarrassed for you. And I said, why? And she said, because you don't cover. And I said, he doesn't want to get covered. Like he's eating. Why would I cover, you know? Um, like he is legitimately eating and I'm feeding him. And if you get aroused by this, then you actually need um, lots of help. Uh, please go get it. And so she was like, I'm just waiting for one person to like tell you something. And I said, honestly, I would just squirt them. Uh, but this is what feels good to me because I am putting my son first and his needs are met. And I was like, we're all eating over here. He wants to eat too. So, you know, he ate and he was fine and happy and dandy and they put him first. So that is, and where I come from, like you do not breastfeed in public. I would have had to go to the restroom or to the car i'm like the restroom is dirty it has a lot of particles when people flush and it just comes out and it's like gross you don't eat in the restroom why should my son have to eat in the restroom and then in the car then i'm gonna miss the meal i'm gonna be alone and isolated and i don't want to be isolated that's why all these moms get depression because then they have to isolate and then they're like i don't want to breastfeed because i have to like isolate so i was like i don't think so so no so i like don't cover i because then my son gets hot and it's like we're like the beach you know so i'm just there and, and i'm doing what i do and she's just like She's like, I just admire you. She's like, because you, you do you. And I'm like, because I deserve a life that feels good. And that is me choosing what's important to me and my family without having to answer to anybody else. And so like coming to the park every morning, that is a life that feels good. And being able to use my voice and let certain things or people not bring me into their chaos and it took a lot of work for me to do that like a lot of work for me to say okay you are not okay but that doesn't mean I have to feed into your chaos um 
And so that took work, but I'm so glad that I, I did it because I would take other people's emotions because I'm an empath and then I'm also like super sensitive. I'm a HSP, highly sensitive person. And so I would take on their, their things. And I mean, my life was then chaos. And sometimes my days were ruined because of other people's emotions. And so I like, sorry guys. Um, I don't know what I want with my hair. I'm just like, did I want it down? Did I want it up? I don't know. Um, and so, you know, it, it was a lot of work, but I think it was very, very rewarding. And now where I'm at, I'm just so grateful for it because I'm in a good place and I'm actually living a life that does feel good as opposed to a life that looks good. And I met the happiest me, but it, I went to therapy I began to use my voice and you know what the most like the best lesson ever I decided that I'd rather be uncomfortable for a couple of minutes or a day or two than to live in regret the rest of my life so I use my voice I put up my boundaries I, I'd rather be uncomfortable for a moment for a day than to be resentful mad bitter incongruent for the rest of my life. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell, ding, 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 and uh, share the videos. Let other people know about them. I hope they're working for you. They're helping you. They're enhancing you. And if you want me to talk about anything in particular, let me know. Okay. Bye, wellness warriors.